Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead. I have driven all the way over to meet up with uh, Eagle Flies. And uh, it looks like we're in this place called Wapiti? Is there... Kind of... Hideout or... <laughs> I don't know, what do, you, what do you want to call this? It's not their hideout, but, you know, this is where they live. How are you feeling? These people don't realize how far they are pushing your duck. Now, where is he? Is it Eagle Fly or Rainfalls? I can never remember. Mister? I wouldn't stay around here too long if I was you. Oh, yeah? Uh, hello? Come in. Don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. Rains fall. Oh, I don't know too much about peace. Eagles fly is his son, not. I think. Always makes them have up. fun with my son, the impetuous prince. I believe you went on a raid with him. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. Yeah, we got a few I'm people not like sure that. Sure, I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Yeah, that sir. would be ideal. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. What do you May mean? May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. Okay. And healing. We're also going to hear some St. Denis drama. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in St. Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. What are these certain actions? Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Guess it doesn't matter because we're signed up. Reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Yes, anyway, we can always just see what he wants. If it's something we don't feel like doing, we don't have to do it. But. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Really convenient that we Enjoy were there the then. She could ask us to do it. We'll continue on this way. 
I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Yeah, good call. Maybe we can have one like I don't know if they do that steam hut thing. Ah. But uh, a lot of tribes like this will have uh, I don't know what it's called at all, but there's some type of TP set up with huge amounts of steam inside for Brutality cleansing the body. All around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wasn't gonna... Didn't want to harm them at all. <laughs> Jesus. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So... We don't know each other too well, but... I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. You want my help at all? This is what I was looking for. English mace. Oh yeah, obviously. Okay. Continue on. Now I was saying... Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> so Dutch is getting involved in your situation. Yeah, exactly. This ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe I respect Charles a lot, so a to whatever he would have told him. From getting any more out of control. Thank you. Mr. Morgan, let me give this some thought. Ha! You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. Oh, this is rare. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. <laughs> Why can't we talk as you're picking the plants? It's not like the magical music happening. Like this bad boy. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. these together I can do that it tastes awful but it'll help to keep your strength up all right let's go it's not much further now so you were just talking about something <laughs> I got there one day and just my son no big deal saw two crosses outside I knew right away wow turned out some bastards had come through Robbed him. Shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Jeez. Pardon me. We've done some similar that shit. Kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. 
I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Let's hope so. Whereabouts is this lookout? It's just up ahead. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. What's happened? Uh oh. No. Come on now. It can't be. It's destroyed. Burnt. No. They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Chinupa? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? Uh, a ceremonial pipe. Oh. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. I better take this, you know, for like evidence purposes what reason would they have it's an army flask there's some whiskey here okay <laughs> he's like is there anything besides whiskey some more thoughts thank you More whiskey. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Please, come look at this. Coming. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well... Still no sign of the Chinupa. What about these logs? Whiskey soaked logs. What? Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Yep, I see it down there. Do you have any binoculars? I sure do. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Maybe stop signing treaties. No, they've taken the last hope. 
easier said than done, but... Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in and get your chin up. I know one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Yes. Well, I you would. can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Don't worry about it. Come on, buddy. Got something important to do. Yeah. Come on. I wonder if we're gonna have to if we can just walk in there and threaten them or we have to be a little quieter. We're going to have to be quiet. Okay, this is like my third time trying to do this. Uh, we can't get spotted at all. I don't even know where the stuff inside the camp is yet. And if we fight these guys... What's that? If we fight these guys, uh, we get negative uh, cowboy points. I think because they're army. So if we can get in here without causing too much of a fuss, that would be ideal, but as you can see, we've got these guys patrolling, and this is the first time I'm taking this route. Maybe this is better. Yikes. Oh, the horse. Oh, no. Okay, so he patrols this whole side. There's a guy in the tent next to us. One sitting down over there. Anything... Gun oil. Oh, okay. This guy's just sitting here. So where is it? Jesus. We're like right up in their stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if I need to like... You think maybe? Something's over here. No, they came running at me. Who's there? That's not the plan. Must be imagining things. Guess it was nothing. Hold alarm, nothing here. I think I saw someone. Oh, are you serious? I'm out here, yeah. What's up? We got any truth. Take your hands off that. Go to hell. 
Oh, okay, maybe I can just beat them all. It's one way of doing it, I guess. Because when we fight them, we get, uh, the negative. So if we just knock them all out, that's one way around it. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, let's find what we're looking for then. Okay, so it's not in here where that guy was sitting. Porn. <laughs> it's a pretty unorthodox way of doing it, but... Where the hell would this be? If I was a Chinupa... Where would I be hiding? I don't see anything inside the tents. Oh, hold on. Here we go. It's not even it, is it? Oh man, I would never have seen this. To be able to sneak in there quietly and do that? Holy moly. Because they just would, like, spot me immediately. As you saw there. And then fire at me. So when I killed one the first time, I was like... It was... My cowboy meter's dropping super hard. So I'm like, well, I can't be just killing this entire... ...thing or else everything we work for is gone. However! Football tackling! And knocking them out. Now, come on. <laughs> Great option. Go, go. Took a few bullets, but hey. For the Chinupa. It's the least I can do. Please tell me you found it. Yeah, I sure did. Here. I am. Uh... I got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Yeah, that's well true. Done. No one was well killed. Done. I wish my son knew such restraint. I beat them all until my they were knocked owe out. You a great debt. <laughs> And I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be... sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Disaster. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. 
Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Owl Feather Trinket. Per permanently reduces health, stamina, and Deadeye Core Drain by 15%. Nice. We, uh, this is one area we've missed out on big time. Like all of these little, uh, trinkets and stuff. Talismans. Most of that, I think, comes from crafting uh, via hunting, so it makes sense. Now, I wonder, though... Do I have to craft the stuff that he gave me? We're going to check this out. Special health cure. Ginseng arrow and English mace. I'm sure that's got to be it then. Yeah, I don't know if we should have just eaten them individually or what, but he said it would just make us feel stronger, so it kind of makes sense that that's what it would be. It's not going to cure us or anything. All right. Um, let's see, where do we want to go here? So this is, that Captain Monroe is the one who needs help, or who asked us for help. Uh, Dutch told you and John to blow the bridge using the explosives you stole from Bill. Um, maybe what we'll do is, you know what, since we're here with, with Hamish, we're right close to him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what kind of hunting he would want to do. The fishing thing was pretty cool, so. Yeah. Let's get an idea. Here to what? Hamish? Hamish. <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> Giant Come thug. In. You said uh we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out. Oh yeah. She can wait. <laughs> oh. Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm Odds and ends. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wandering man. <laughs> the bodies lay so thick. They could have walked like across the whole field without like. your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Ooh -wee. <laughs> what have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. <laughs> oh, that's the one. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left. Around the lake. 
down here somewhere. All right. Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole I almost feel like you wouldn't want to hunt her. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? I do. Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with uh -huh. you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. What gun are we going to want to use for this? Springfield? Damn. I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Jeez, look at the views here. Easy. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Looks fresh to me. Their dinner. Didn't eat much. Now where'd she get to? This way. My oh, she ate this. She's gone somewhere over there. whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. It's pretty brave. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we got a chaser, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Yep. Quick, while we got eyes on her. I'm just following you, so. Damn it! Too slow. It looks like she's headed into the woodland. We're gonna have to track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. This is gonna be impossible. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. If you went in there, all right. We got. Tracker. All right. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? I got it. Come on, you want If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay, get tracking. I'll be close behind you. I got the trail. This way. Right behind you. Take it slow. See anything yet? Just tracks. We don't get her. Well, what's the worst that can happen? She runs off with the chicken. Well, oh, I'm fine with these chickens. I lost a leg on Hey, a bear. Is that the she wolf? I think so. I'm like right here, dude. You think? Hey, back up. Stay back up. Oh shit. Hello. You all right? Are any of these her, I, I wonder? I was ready my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she led us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Jesus. Whoa! Wow. You all right? Ish. Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> 
They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. <laughs> we'll stay up here in a while. Zone. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. All right. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thanks, Thank man. You. Uh, you earned it. So long. I thought I told you to run off. What are you doing here, Chucky? He could speak the stories he'd tell. Look at all these horse pelts everywhere. He can have them. He can have them. All right, we're gonna go and see. Uh, we're gonna go see John about these explosives. So wish me luck. Thank you. 